amount of trust that guy has to have in you is off the charts. Yeah, it, it really is. You know, I mean, we've established at this point, I think everybody understands what, what wrestling is. I mean, it's sports entertainment. And I think we everybody's kind of gotten over the fact, you know, that that's what we are. We're inter entertainment. But I don't think what people really realize is that any given match on any given day, you're two inches away from something catastrophic happening. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, and it and it is. I mean, it just it's that it's that it's two inches from being. But holy shit, that was really impressive. Though. Holy shit, that guy ain't getting up. Right. And I think uh, I think a lot of people that you know that, that shit on wrestling, they don't they don't understand they don't understand that aspect. And, and you're right, and it does take an, an enormous amount of trust, and it's really hard to get in the ring with somebody that's hurt a few people. Right. Oh, I mean, sure. you have to be, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I lost, you know, I've lost both eye sockets, but one was just because the guy was completely out of shape. And there's so many, there's a lot of similarities. One's a sporting event, one's sports entertainment, talking about MMA, but, you know, it, there's conditioning. This is kind of, I think, the key to, to everything. And the young guy was out of shape. He was six foot eight, 500 pounds. And I, I ran straight into what was supposed to be a clothesline. But he was he was so out of he was so gassed and, and behind in the spot that instead of catching the, the meat of his forearm, I ran right dead into his fist with his momentum coming off of ropes. Oh, just blew my, you know, my eye socket completely apart. And, yeah, don't ask me, I didn't know it for, for three days. But but that's the kind of stuff that... Did you have to Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had them both rebuilt. Oh, yeah. Is but that I didn't, when you had to wear the mask? Yeah. Wow. That's, yeah, so... So you were just wrestling with a broken orbital? Well, I'd already had the surgery at this point, but that was just... Uh, so that happened, that match happened. Like I said, back then, we didn't have doctors with us and, and trainers. So it's funny how I found out that my face was shattered. Like, So I wrestled three more days. But every with time shattered face. With my, my orbital socket blown out. <laughs> so I wrestled three more days, right? And, uh, and it, it, it's, as stupid as it sounds, it's, just, it's, it's normal for our world back then. You, you worked hard. Or you, you know, it's just the way you did it. Walk, you go to the ring, and I think you know that's that was part of the the mystique of the guys, the tough guys, you know. And, and I think so. I, I, I worked, and me and the Godfather, who's another wrestler, great dude. We were, we were going to meet up after the show at some bar and hang out, right? And uh, we were in Springfield, Massachusetts, and 